Hello Three Mandela and welcome to your first science lesson of the week. Today our learning objective is can I investigate the strength of magnets? So far we have learnt the following. What forces are? How different surfaces have an effect on friction? What magnets are and what they do? We now know that magnets have two poles, the North Pole and the South Pole. We have also looked at what types of metals are magnetic. Today we will be learning about the strengths of magnets. Do you remember the names of the magnets below? I'd like you to pause the video and tell Mr Fox the name of the different magnets that are in the picture. Pause your video now. Let's have a look at the names of the magnets. Could you remember what this magnet was called? This magnet was our bar magnet. What about this magnet? This magnet was our cylindrical magnet. Could you remember the name of this magnet? It was the U-shaped magnet. What about this magnet here? That was our horseshoe magnet. Could you remember the name of this magnet? This was our circular magnet. And finally, we have this magnet. Could you remember the name of this magnet? It was our ring magnet. Now, I want you to pause the video again and I want you to think about which magnet will be the strongest. I want you to tell Mr Fox which magnet you think will be the strongest. Pause your video now. Well done for sharing your ideas. Magnets come in different strengths depending on what they are made from, how they are magnetised and how they are kept. Not all magnets are the same. Iron is usually easier to magnetise but loses its magnetism much more quickly and it is used to form temporary magnets. Steel, however, retains its magnetism much better and is used to make permanent magnets. Today we are going to do a quick investigation to see which magnet is the strongest from the two below. Can you remember the names of these magnets? We've got our bar magnet and we've got our horseshoe magnet. Which one do you think will be the strongest? So let's think about our method for our investigation and today we're giving you the method. To measure the strength of each magnet I will hold a paper clip to a magnet so that it is attracted to it. I will then hold another paper clip to the first one to see if it is also attracted to the magnet through the first paper clip. You're going to keep adding paper clips in a chain until no other paper clips are attracted in the chain. Keep a record of how many paper clips were in the chains for each magnet. The magnet with the longest chain of paper clips is the strongest as its magnetic force can pull the paper clips over the longest distance. So you need to get your mini whiteboard and you need to split it into two parts by drawing the line in the middle. One side is for the horseshoe magnet and the other is for the bar magnet. Now we're going to look at the experiment. Once you finish watching the experiment, I want you to note down how many paper clips were attracted to each magnet. If you've got a magnet 
and some paper clips at home, you might want to get them and join in. First job is to divide your whiteboard in half. On one side, write horseshoe magnet, and on the other side, write bar magnet. Now you're going to watch our experiment. Hello Year 3 and welcome to your first science lesson this week. So today we are learning about the strength of magnets. OK, and the way we will be learning about the strength of these magnets is by attaching paper clips to paper clips to them to see how many we can attach in the chain. OK, so I have this magnet. Can anyone remember what this magnet is called? Fantastic. It's a bar magnet. OK, and then I have this magnet. Does anyone remember what this magnet is called? Fantastic, it's a horseshoe magnet. So I am going to see which one is the strongest. So which one has more strength? Which magnet has more strength? Okay, what do you think? Put your thinking caps on and have a think about what you think it is. Okay, and the way we will find out whether you're wrong, whether you're correct or incorrect is by carrying out this mini experiment. Okay, so I've got my magnets here. <coughs> And I have paper clips here. And what I'm going to do is I am going to start attaching paper clips to my bar magnet. OK, so I'm going to pick them up one at a time. So I've attached one. And I need to make sure that my paper clips are single. I need to make sure they're single like this and not attached like this because that will not make a fair test. So I've got one paper clip two paper clips, three paper clips, four paper clips. Oh, that's not attaching, look. It's just falling. It's just falling, yeah? Now, I've managed to attach four paper clips to this magnet, okay? So one, two, three, four. And the reason I'm making a chain is because if it's able to, I can only tell what the strength will be like when a magnet attaches further from the furthest point. Okay, so now I know only four mag only four paper clips can attach to it, and the fifth can't. So the strength of it is only up until four paper clips. Okay, so now I am going to show you how many attach to a horseshoe magnet it is a quite um it is larger so it is going to um this magnet is going to try and attach the paper clips in a different way i did try it earlier so i've managed to put one on okay remember they have to be single i've got two three four Oops, trying to see if I can add more onto it. So my horseshoe magnet has managed to do five or four as well. I'm just going to see if I can add more. Oops, so it's done that. So this is what it kept doing to me earlier. I'm going to fan, I'm going to put it on the table because the first few magnets I find easier to attach. So one, two, three, four. Oops. Uh, so this is actually quite annoying. Uh, 
So my my horseshoe magnet has attached four as well. So on your mini whiteboards, yeah, if you can just write down bar magnet, four paper clips, and horseshoe magnet, four paper clips. Okay, and um, and then record your answers down the way your class teacher will tell you in the rest of the lesson. Okay. So now that you have watched the investigation, I want you to think about these questions. And I would like you to share your answers with Mr. Fox here. What did you notice? So what did you see? happening in the investigation which magnet is the strongest so which magnet attracted the most paper clips why do you think this was the case so you need to pause your video and you need to tell mr fox the answers to your questions pause your video now So what you need to do today, your tasks are. For activity one, I would like you to draw the magnet, which is the strongest and write a sentence explaining why. You will need to remember to use a ruler to help you with your drawing. You will also need to remember to label the poles of your magnet as well as the paper clips that are in the investigation. Then you need to write a sentence to explain what happened and why you think it was the strongest magnet. So just to recap, you're drawing and labelling the magnet which was the strongest and writing a sentence to explain why. Let's have a look at our activity two today. So in a speech bubble, can you write down what Mrs. Mazur was experimenting and what you observed? So if you're going to do this, you need to make sure that you draw your speech bubbles neatly. So in the speech bubble, you would write down what you saw happening in the experiment. So we could write, we were investigating the strength of magnets full stop because you also need to remember your punctuation then you will need to write what you observed so our sentence would start with i observed and then you would need to finish writing your sentence to say what you noticed happening and why you think this happened. So that's the first part of the activity. So in a speech bubble, you can write down what we were investigating and what you observed. Or you could record yourself explaining what happened in the experiment. If you are doing that, I am looking for you using scientific vocabulary today. I'm looking forward to listening to and reading what you observed in our experiment.